Yummy holiday. I love yummy holiday. Okay. So, guys, here we are again on another episode of Friday Finance, guys. I'm so happy to be here with you guys. I love it every time I get on here to have these money conversations with you guys. And it gives me great joy and great pleasure that I've been. Uh, chosen to this, this mission, guys, to go on this mission of spreading financial literacy, making financial literacy accessible to all. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to KL Realty for sponsoring this episode, episode number three of season two of the Friday's Finance Show, guys. So thank you, KL Realty. If you need a new home, guys, you can contact them for a new home. I will drop their information at the top once the live is over. So now, um, as promised last week, okay, I wanted to discuss um, kids' account. I said I would do a part two. So this is part two of kids' accounts, guys. So pretty much last week, we looked at a brokerage account for your kids where you can invest money in the market on behalf of your child through what we call a UGMA, a Uniform Gift to Minors Account. For those of you not sure about which stocks to purchase, guys, there's a very easy option. The easiest option you have is to invest in the S&P 500, okay? through what is called an ETF. Remember we talked about ETFs before, exchange traded fund. So the S&P 500 guys, you could do the um, SPY, okay? The SPY, S-P-Y, that's the ticker symbol. You could also do VU, that's a Vanguard 500, the Vanguard 500 ETF. And guys, they trade just like a stock. And remember guys, you don't need to have a whole lot of money to start one of these accounts if you set it up with brokerages like Fidelity, Acorns, or Stash, where you can do dollar-based investing, and you just go ahead and buy partial shares. Now, that was last week. That's what we talked about last week. So today, I'm taking some time to talk about the 529 Savings Plan. One of the main reasons why I wanted to do this, guys, is because someone asked me the question, what happens if my child doesn't want to go to college and I have a 529 savings plan? Yeah. So what happens? So I told the person, you know what? Let me go ahead and do some digging. Let me go ahead and find out what happens if you have a 529 savings plan, but your child doesn't attend college, guys. So... Um, let me give you some information about the 529. Now, guys, there's a lot of information out there. However, I am just going to give you the basics, okay? So today, we are going to discuss these 529 plans. There are two types. There's the traditional 529, which is just like a Roth IRA, where you take after-tax dollars and you invest them in an account where they grow tax-free. And the distributions, as long as they are used for educational purposes, they're also 
tax-free. And the beautiful thing about these 529 savings plan is that they can be used for public or private institutions, guys. It really doesn't matter. Now, the other option is a prepaid college tuition plan, which allows you to prepay tuition at a public institution at today's rate for college in the future, for a future student. And of course, if you don't like that one, you can also convert this prepaid tuition plan to a 529 savings plans, guys. So now, here are five things you need to know about these plans. Not only does the money pay for tuition, but it can also pay for books, for supplies, for equipment, for computers, room and board. Guys, and the room and board doesn't have to be on the college campus. It could be an apartment off campus. Yeah, as long as the student is attending school at least half time, typically at, at a university, guys, in order to be full time, okay, in order to be full time, you have to take 12 credits. So half time would be considered six credits, and six credits would be equivalent to two classes because typically, when you attend college, these college classes are three credits, okay? So guys, listen, as long as the student is half-time, they can use these plans. That's the bottom line with these college savings plans. Now, when it comes to the college savings plans, guys, here's something else you have to keep in mind, okay? It can pay for private, public, and religious K through 12 education, up to $10,000 a year. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. You can use that money to pay for public school, okay? K through 12 school. So if you want your child to attend a private school, you know, a religious school, but you can't afford it, but you have this 529 savings plan, you can dip into it and pay for that education. Number three, practically, Every state has at least one type of college savings plan. And guys, when it comes to the setup, there are specific companies that deal with these savings plans, these college savings plans, like Vanguard deals with them. Like in the state of Florida, we have Florida prepaid. So depending on the state that you're in, that determines, um, I'm not sure why. That's weird. Okay. I don't know why you're not seeing it. Um, I know I'm on here somewhere. Okay, let's see here. What is going on? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Can you see me on Facebook? Okay, how about now? Can you see me? No? No, you can't see me. Okay, I'm not quite sure what's going on. I can see myself. <laughs> How about on Facebook? Can you see me on Facebook? Try Facebook. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Why you can't see me? What in the world is going on tonight? Okay. But anyways, listen, worst case scenario, if you don't get a chance to watch this live, I can go ahead and put the video on Instagram. But I think I'm okay on Facebook. Let me go ahead and double check here on Facebook. Hey guys, we're dealing with technology. It happens, yes. Things like this happen with the technology. So um, you wanna switch over to Facebook, Betty? I think I'm okay on Facebook, <laughs> okay? So worst case scenario, if you can't watch me, I'll go ahead and pop the video on Instagram later, okay? But um, so let me go ahead and try to finish it up. Thanks for letting me know, Betty. I didn't even know that. Okay, I don't know why it's not picking up the streaming. Maybe it's my phone. Uh, I think we're okay. It might be just my phone, okay? So I'm sorry, Betty. Um, anyways, guys, I'm not very tech savvy. Yeah, can't you tell? Um, um, let me go ahead and continue, guys, with the... Um, 529 savings plan okay um now as of guys this is a really really good one okay uh by the way number four i forgot to mention number four you can start one you can start one of these savings plans 
for as low as $25, depending on your state. And guys, as soon as that child gets the social security number, you can start an account for that child. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the parents or the grandparents. It could be any relative. It could be an aunt. It could be an uncle that starts one of these accounts. As long as that person is related to the child. Now, Here's another part which is awesome about these college savings plans, guys. As of January 1st, 2019, I believe, they wrote it into law where individuals can use the college savings plan to pay for student loans up to $10,000. Oh, let me say that again. I guarantee you there are people who don't know this, guys. Okay? As of January 1st, 2019, a college savings plan can be used can be used hey kathy can you see me hi kathy uh a college savings plan guys can be used to pay student loans up to ten thousand dollars hey betty i see you i see you um now guys listen um uh, this is phenomenal especially for people by the way guys it doesn't have to be your college savings plan. It could be a family member's savings plan, okay? It could be a child savings plan that you can use to... <laughs> okay, I'm glad you can see me, Kathy. Betty, where are you watching me from, okay? Are you on my Facebook page, Betty? Or are you just messaging me? Betty's trying to stay in touch with me. <laughs> okay, so anyways, guys. Um, as I was saying, listen, it doesn't have to be uh, your own college savings plan. It just has to be a family member's college savings plan. And you can withdraw $10,000 out of that money and pay for your student loans. Shazam! Guys, that's fabulous because a lot of people, those insidious college loans, I mean, um, student loans, a lot of people get trapped in them and it's so hard to pay them back. Hopefully Biden keeps his promise, you know, huh? you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay. So guys, here's the big question. Here's what I started all of this with why I wanted to talk about the 529 college savings plan, because somebody had asked me what happens to the 529 college savings plan if my child is not going to attend college. And so guys, I went digging and this is what I found out. So number one, the account can be passed down to a different family member. It can be transferred to a family member. Or you, the adult, can actually use that account to further your own education if your child doesn't use the college savings plan. Yeah, it can be transferred. Now, additionally, if the child goes to a military academy or gets a tax-free scholarship, the money can be withdrawn out of the account and there will not be any tax penalty. Remember guys, these accounts, when you set them up, they're like a Roth IRA, so they grow tax-free, tax-free. Now, the earnings might be taxed if you just withdraw the money, but if you use it for educational purposes, no, it will not be taxed, guys, okay? So additionally, guys, listen, money can be withdrawn, all right? And if you withdraw the money and you don't use it for educational purposes, then they might go ahead and tax you, all right? Now, here's another one, guys, to think about, okay? Um, every once in a while, this happens. It's sad, but it happens, okay? If a child passes away or the child is disabled, that money, you can withdraw all of it tax-free and not have to worry about paying taxes on any of that money. So if you have that savings plan, college savings plan sitting there and something happens to your child, you can just withdraw the money from the account and no, you will not be taxed on that money, guys. Seriously. And so uh, for most of these accounts, guys, listen, you're stashing after tax money into the account so the money you originally invested will not be taxed. It's just the earnings they're concerned about. Now, additionally, guys, listen to this one right here, okay? Uh, if you're not going to use, let's say your child, okay, your child gets out of high school. They're like, oh, I don't want to go to college. Um, I want to go and start my own business, and I just don't care for college, okay? 
here's the last thing you can do. You can choose to just leave the account alone. Don't touch the account. Who knows? Maybe that child will decide later on, you know what? I am going to change my mind and go to college. Or perhaps that child can actually take the money and pass it on to their children. Yes, the money can be transferred to their children, guys. Okay? So, guys, listen. There's a lot of information. So what I did was I took all that information, I encapsulated it for you into something very easy and very quick for you to be able to get the gist of these 529 college savings plan. Now, are they a great idea for you to start for your child? Of course, anybody can start one of these accounts, guys. The point is you saving money for that child. Whether that child decides to attend college or not, at least you have the savings account right there and you can tap into it. Worst case scenario, if something happens and you need money, you can get your hand on that money. All right, guys. So as always, people, we got to talk about the stock market. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the stock market. So first and foremost, guys, okay, <laughs> stock market news today. Let me just tell you, I'm just talking about one thing and one thing only, okay? I'm talking about, well, one person and one person only, Elon Musk. Guys, hello, <laughs> Betty, you got in. That's good. Okay, one person. I'm talking about Elon Musk, guys. Elon Musk is on fire. This man is on fire. So listen to what happened, okay, this week, guys. And I love Elon. Um, he's a genius, guys. I am in love with this man, okay? So pretty much on Sunday night, okay, I was sitting here. <laughs> I was sitting here, guys, okay? And days I was watching. I'm a nerd when it comes to things like this, okay? So I was watching on television as they're doing the countdown for the Dragon spaceship. So they did the countdown, and what did I do? I ran outside just to see if I could get a peek of this spaceship going into space guys guess what it was such a beautiful clear night i actually saw the entire thing guys it was beautiful it was gorgeous spectacular i watched it for about 10 minutes guys until it just kind of like took off in the atmosphere guys that was on sunday night okay so on monday night you know what happened on monday not monday night on monday tesla was added to the S&P 500, the 500 largest companies by market cap that are traded on the New York Stock Exchange. Tesla is going to be added on December 21st. It's going to join those other large cap companies like Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, all these bunch of companies. By the way, Tesla is now worth 400 billion dollars with a b guys okay let me tell you once again i love me some elon musk i love that man guys now number three today the share prices of tesla went up to five hundred dollars a share okay five hundred dollars a share and this is after the split guys number four i know i know so um uh, after it did the split when I look at my cost basis on the split for Tesla, guys, my cost basis is about $42 per share. And essentially, you bought the stock at about $42 and it's now $500, okay? That is what happens with the stock market, guys. It doesn't always happen with every stock, but every once in a while, you get lucky and you find a stock where it actually happens, okay? So that was today, it went up to $500. Now, Number four, guys, Tesla is the leader in electric vehicle. I don't care what anybody else says. Tesla is the leader in electric vehicles, okay? Now, all the other ones, they're just trying to catch up. So today I was watching CNBC, and I'm watching all these other electric vehicle car companies trying to catch up to Tesla. You got the Lee Auto. You got Xpeng. You got Neo. You got Lordstown. You got Fisker. You got Workhorse. There's another one I'm forgetting, uh, but there's a whole bunch of them, guys. And all of them, you know what they're trying to do? They're trying to catch up to Tesla. So when you're investing in the market, guys, look for the leader. Look for the leader. Invest in the leader. Whoever's leading the field, 
that's who you invest in okay so now would i invest in the other companies yeah i would invest in them i'm i have a little bit of a stake in neo yeah i do but guys uh tesla i love tesla okay i love elon let's put it that way okay and then guys listen this man is building these not mega but giga factories giga factories all over the world he's got one in germany one in china and then he's building one in texas he already has one in california but he's building one in texas and then last but not least guys this is all about elon okay he is on a mission to transition the world from fossil fuel to clean energy what is he doing that through he's doing it through solar city solar city okay that's one of his other companies guys that joined up with tesla so not only does he have solar city he has tesla but he also has spacex that's three companies right there guys under that one person you know who else is like that um jack dorsey jack dorsey owns twitter and he also owns square square is the one that owns cash app so guys let me tell you i love me some elon musk this man is phenomenal i'm just so awed by the things that he's doing he's a genius and guys let me tell you i can't wait to see five years from now what this man is going to be up to okay so that's the stock market news guys okay um i wanted to just focus on elon today because everybody's talking about electric vehicles electric vehicles and i'm like but wait a minute tesla has been around for quite some time tesla went public about 10 years ago guys 10 years ago nobody wanted to touch that little company okay the shares were trading for about 17 dollars a share and now look at the company guys okay after a split it's 500 dollars a share anyways guys listen as always i'm probably talking too much again but you know once i start talking about money i love talking about money okay so last thing i do need to say with you guys is this um shazam money i had last week i put it out there that i started this free group called shazam money where i talk about money all the time up i upload any information about money videos um twitter posts facebook posts whatever it is it's all about money so i drop it in shazam money and anybody that has any questions about money they drop it in there and we answer the questions guys so if you want to join shazam money it's a free private group on facebook just go ahead and drop your information at the bottom guys and let me know okay and i will add you to shazam money guys listen it's always a pleasure having people here discussing money on a friday night with everybody by the way i'm not gonna be on here next friday guys next friday is the day after thanksgiving so i don't want to intrude on family time i will not intrude on your time people so i will not be there um next friday and so i need to say something about next friday too okay but i will be back the following friday which will be uh, the 4th of december now guys listen talk real talk right here right now okay last week I said this, if you haven't started an account for your child yet, an investment account for your child, you need to start doing it. And this time of year, this season right here is where you guys are starting to think about what kind of gifts can I get the kids in my life? What kind of gifts can I buy my child? Okay. This year guys think differently. Okay. Think differently rather than buying two, three gifts for your child buy one, take that money invested for your child. Okay rather than going out and spending a whole bunch of money guys on stuff that that child is never going to use or they might use it for a few days and then throw it away go ahead instead and take some of that money and invest it for the children in your life i don't care who they are nieces nephews cousins i don't care who they are just invest the money for your children guys build that wealth build that family legacy guys we can do this a dollar at a time remember i am on a mission guys to make financial literacy accessible to everybody i want us to think differently about how we deal with money people okay money doesn't necessarily mean that you have to spend it you have to acquire things with it okay 
One of the things I firmly believe in is that most of us can do really well with our finances if we change our mindset around money. One of the easiest things you can do, guys, is this, okay? Every time you get your paycheck, don't pay the bills first. No, no, no. Pay yourself first. Pay yourself first. How do you pay yourself first? Drop some money into your savings account. Drop some money into your investment account. Drop some money into your Roth IRA. Drop some money into your kids' accounts, okay? That's how you pay yourself first. Then after you pay yourself first, you go ahead and worry about the bills, guys. And if you make it a habit, it will stick. And once it sticks, guys, you won't notice the money is missing. It's just become second nature to you where you're just dropping the money into these accounts. And guys, your future self will thank you later. Later on, when there are emergencies that happen, yes, pay yourself first, Betty, okay? When there are emergencies that happen and you are in need of money, you will have your coin somewhere. You will have your stash of money somewhere. You can put your hand on it and grab that money and say, oh, okay. Guys, if anything, this year has taught us that we need to have money set aside for emergencies. That COVID virus came out of nowhere, okay? And it hit, hit everybody. It hit the entire United States. Either you had money somewhere where you could go and dip into that money to pay your bills while you weren't working or you didn't have the money and you had to rely on the government. Guys, relying on the government, they gave us one stimulus check and ever since then, where's the rest of the stimulus check? They were giving us extra money on the unemployment. They took it away. Where's the extra money? Guys, I know people right now that are having such a difficult time. I spoke to this person two weeks ago, and the person told me, I'm on my last $1,000, guys. Listen, we can do this, guys. We can do this a dollar at a time. But we have to take action. We have to take those steps. We have to change that mindset, okay? We have to change that mindset. As in, we are going to do better with our finances. And how do we start to do better with our finances? Every time we get paid. Today's Friday. If you got paid, did you take some of that money and put it into your investment account? Did you take some of that money, put it into your savings account, your emergency savings account? Did you take some of that money to pay yourself first, guys? That's what this is about, people. And I know some people are saying, well, I cannot afford to. Listen, I completely understand. Remember, remember where I'm coming from. I started my first retirement account with $50, guys. So I am speaking from experience, okay? Even if it's a dollar, guys, drop a dollar, okay? Later on, if you can't afford $5, drop $5. If you can afford $10, drop $10. So guys, next Friday, quote unquote, is supposed to be Black Friday. Listen, don't go waste your money. Yes, lady, budget. Absolutely, budget. Don't go waste your money. These holidays, let me tell you something. The majority of these holidays, they are concocted. They are a ploy, okay? They are a ploy to make you spend money. And a lot of people fall, okay, for these ploys to make you spend money, okay? Now, you eat at home every day. Why do you have to have a special day to eat, Shazam? Okay. Yes. Financial freedom and become debt free. That's why, that's why, I'm, that's what I'm saying. You got to pay yourself first. Take care of those debts. Get rid of them. Like the student loan I just talked about with the college savings plan, where you can use some of that college savings plan if you have it and pay $10,000 towards your student loan. That is getting rid of debt. And guys, let me tell you, financial freedom feels good. It's good to know that you have money sitting there. If something happens, you can reach out and grab that money. If a family needs money, okay, as long as you're okay with a family member, if a family needs money and they come to you, you can say, oh, okay, I can loan you that money, okay? By the way, make sure you write a contract if you loan out money, okay? <laughs> Very good, lady. I'm glad you're not buying a thing. Guys, there are ways for us to make our kids happy, make our family members happy, without spending a whole bunch of money during the holiday season, without going into debt. Put those credit cards down. Stop using those doggone credit cards, guys. You're already in debt, and you're going to add more debt 
okay, to make people happy. Come on now, people. Put those credit cards down. Save your little coins. Pay off your debt. Pay off your credit cards. Pay off your student loans. Whatever it is. This is about, guys, listen. Growing our wealth. Building our family legacy. A dollar at a time. We can do this, okay? But you have to make the choice. You have to take action to do it. So it is up to you. During this holiday season, guys, think about it this way, okay? If I go and buy my child that new pair of Nike that costs $400, how many shares of Nike can it buy? $400. How many shares of Nike can that buy? Today, Nike is trading at $130 a share, okay? That's at least two and a half shares. Hello? That's how you have to think it. The brand new iPhone, guys, came out. iPhone 12, how much is it? $1,400. How much is a share of Apple right now? Apple is $120 a share. $120 a share, okay? $1,400. The cheapest one, the cheapest one, I think, starts about $600. But the big mega one is like $1,400. I'm not going to drop no $1,400 on a cell phone where I could buy what? five, six, seven shares of Apple, the company. Okay, you use the phone. Let's say, God forbid, you drop it. It cracks. There goes your money, okay? You're not getting any return on that phone, but you put your money in that market and you buy Apple with it. At least you'll make a few dollars. Hello? So, guys, we got to retrain these brains. Retrain it, okay? Change that mindset when it comes to money. That's how we have to look at this, okay? Okay. Um, I remember I went into restoration hardware and I saw this couch, okay? It was the couch that I've always wanted, guys. But that puppy was $6,000 and I'm like, oh my God, how many shares of restoration hardware? <laughs> I'm serious, guys. I, start, I took out, that, this time I actually took out my cell phone calculator and I did that 6000 at the time. Restoration Hardware was like $350 a share. I did the division, guys. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. $6,000 for a couch where I could go ahead and buy Restoration Hardware? No, I'm not doing it. Okay? I'll buy the stock before I buy that couch, guys. Okay? So that's how we have to retrain the brain, guys. Retrain it. Okay? Change that mindset. And guys, let me tell you. It's an awesome feeling when you get to that point where you realize, wait a minute, I have other families thinking like I'm thinking right now. And they're like, oh, wait a minute, I can't buy this. I can buy 10 shares of that. I can buy two shares of that. Yeah, okay. When you get to that point, guys, where you're thinking like that, it's a different ball game altogether. Anyways, I need to stop, okay? It's already 32 minutes. Ladies, thank you so much for coming on and joining me. Thank you to everybody on Facebook who joined me live. And guys, it's always a pleasure to be here with you guys on Friday. I will not be here next Friday because I don't want to intrude on your family life, okay? So the following Friday, I'll be back on December the 4th, okay? So guys, be careful this season. Listen, if you got people in your family that's expecting a gift from you, you better train them, train them, okay? The kids, train them. The adults, train them. Yes, that's how we're going... By the way, women, let me just say this, okay? We are the backbone of our family, okay? We are the backbone of our families, okay? We have to step up and do what's necessary to make sure our family does better financially. So thank you so much. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Oh, Odette, you popped up. Hello, Odette. Thank you so much for attending. And on that note, guys, I am going to leave you with a little bit of music until Friday, December the 4th. I'm coming back on the 4th. Hello. Bye, everybody. Have a good one. Thank you, ladies. Thanks for attending. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye, Bye,